Hello everyone and welcome to my live video for Saturday, the 4th, yes, no, 5th, <laughs> what's the date today? It is the 5th today, so uh, we're into March, it's going so fast and I thought, oh, what am I going to do today? So I got some brand new dies. And I'm also going to use one of the free stamp sets. So this free stamp set is available to receive with any order over 180. The uh, celebration has been extended until the 16th of March. So that's really, really good. So with all your orders that you place, this is a really nice sentiment to, to have. I also thought that I will show you a couple of how to's as well before I get into the, the card making. I run out of Stamp and Seal Plus. So this is going to be interesting because I haven't refilled one before. So let's open him up. This came in my order this week along with my new little goodies that we're going to play with today. So this is the refill. You can purchase a full one, and when it's full, obviously it will um, look like that. So to refill, you open. Oh, take your little lid off first, then you open. And then... Okay, so we need to... Whoops. Let's see, how does this fit in? fit in like that it should fit in like that okay so what we do is we it just looks oh no it's not too big maybe that's that's why I was um, I thought that was too big for the little hole but it's not so what you do is you pop this end into here this spike will go into here and then you will let this plastic go through here by the looks of that so once that all pops down into there like that there's no clicking it just sits there and then you can just pop him on here hey. oh miss millie she's she's found my stamp and emboss plates i was going to show you that one as well because that's another new toy that i have got so I did have a big shot and I have saved and saved and saved and finally I've been able to buy myself this beautiful machine stamping up cut and emboss I um, I couldn't wait I did break him open put the handle on and um, he's ready to go so I'll be using that one today plates it's so much easier than um, what I had before uh, with with the big shot it has all of the instructions on the plate and they're also numbered as well so when you're wanting to use your die cuts it says here iconic dies at the beginning I used um, it like I used to with the embossing folders with just this plate and the clear the clear um, cutting plates but it wasn't high enough to actually um, cut the the die out so with your dies you use number one plus number two with number three on top and then you place your die that you would like so these are the iconic dies you can put paper down first or you could um, put the die down. I think I put the paper down first. So let me just grab here. So as you can see, that was my first cut. So you put your paper down, like so. And then you would line that up there like that. And then you place number three here on top. So that's how you sandwich your 
die for your emboss. So this one is the large emboss machine. And then once he is done, actually I'm going to spin him around because I am, I need to use the right hand. Left-handed for everything else. Right-handed for the wheel. And then it just goes through like that. How easy. Done. It still amazes me how easy because the big shot, it just, I have to use my whole arm power to to take it through. So I'm, I'm really loving it. So it goes through, it has stuck there. And then you have your twig. Look at that. How awesome. So good. I have pre-prepared all of my die cuts today. This one here is the uh, stitched greenery die. And that's that fellow there. He is amazing. So I'll pop him aside there. Now that we know how to create that sandwich for your die. That is all done there. Put him aside. Okay. So let's get started with our card. Sorry. Just getting everything ready. So you will see in the back, I've marked it here with the little clear cases from my stamps. This is the one here that I'm using. It's the Stitch Greenery die. It's $56 and it's on page 165 of your annual catalog. And this is what he looks like. And when he goes through the machine, can you see how he's imprinted all of those beautiful leaves? Love it. It's probably one of my favorites. It's taken me a little while to, to get him, but you know, after saving, I was able to, to get that one. Now the Iconic Dies is on the next page over, which is page 163, and these dies are $50. Now originally, I skipped past all of these and I didn't, didn't even know that they existed. And then I was going through Pinterest and I saw these awesome mushrooms and I'm like, what? Where are they in the, in the catalogue? They say that they're on um, they're in use on page 18, but I completely missed it. But that's these guys. And today I'll be using the branch, the flowers, and the leaf, and the leaf, um, what would you call it, the veins there. Uh, I am going to be making some cards this week with this set. So keep your eyes out for that one. move this away okay so let's bring in I have pre-cut everything today just to make this um, a little bit quicker hi Susie hi Jake hi Uncle Milton Denise how are you going sorry I'm, I'm so involved I didn't see everyone pop in <laughs> it's great thank you so much for watching me okay so these are all my little pieces I've challenged myself to use a color that I don't use that often and this is soft suede. The card base is 10 and a half by 14.9 centimeters and it's scored, sorry, <laughs> it's 10 and a half centimeters by the length of the 29.8 centimeters or the A4 cardstock and scored at 14.9. So you fold in the score and you use your bone folder. So why I like the bone folder is when you fold it, it sits up. When you use your bone folder to go across the line, it makes it closed. So it's being ladylike now and staying closed. Perfect. All right, so I've also cut the card base 
This one here is 10 centimeters by 14.4 centimeters. And I'm going to adhere that with dimensionals, which I forgot to grab. So I'm just over here, I'll just grab some dimensionals. You have large ones and also the mini ones, but today I'm going to use the large. Place your dimensionals in the corner of your cardstock. This is where you could think about, am I wanting to put ribbon or some twine on my card? Just another added little um, step in your card but I'm just going to keep it simple with embellishments today but you could use some twine I stuck with the earthy colors as well it's something that I tend to not use I've been challenging myself this week to do something with my craft that I don't normally do so I go the girly colours, you know, the purples and the pinks and all of that. So if you just line him up, it's hard because it's the same colour on the same column, but line him up. So the dimensionals, they'll actually give you some height to your card and as they say, dimension. The next layer is the, what colour is this? This is soft sea foam. And he is nine, what is his measurement? He's three and a half by five and a quarter inches. Can't remember what that is in centimeters. <laughs> so I'm just going to adhere him. Now you could use your glue, but I'm just going to use this to get my tape started and it'll let me know whether I've actually loaded it properly. So yes, there we are. Look at that. That is all done. It's always nice when something works straight off. Hi Mackenzie, how are you going? <laughs> Thanks for dropping by. Making a card. So just popping him in the center. And then I'm going to put my die cut through onto the front here. Now it's only a very faint, so I just wanted the soft sea foam to pick up the green color to make it stand out. Now I'm just going to, actually I think I might use glue for this, this one. Okay, so just running the glue around. I mean you could use the tape if you're worried that the glue might go through the little dots but um, it shouldn't. Okay I think this is the most people that have come in to watch. Hi Stacy. Don't disappear if I say hello. It's okay. <laughs> I won't bite. I promise. Okay so then you just pop that one on there like that. So that is our card base. If you wanted to keep it simple you could just put your sentiment there and it would still look beautiful. Sometimes simple is best. Now with this I, I forgot to put on the adhesive sheet. The adhesive sheet is what I put onto the back of the leaf. It just makes it so much easier to stick the very delicate um, and fine dies on but I'm just going to see what happens here I'm just going to see how that I like how that's sitting up because it's got a little bit of a shadow gives it a bit of dimension so I'm just going to put a little bit of um, I don't know whether I should do glue or some tape I might just do a little bit of tape because with the tape when you stick that on see how it hangs over the edge you can fold that over like that so that way you can't see it and then you can pop him down so you can have it straight I'm gonna have it popping up just a little bit like that okay now I'm going to stamp my sentiment 
cut out a little bit of uh, very vanilla cardstock and it's one centimeter by uh, two two and a half centimeters and I've chosen from this stamp set special moments I have chosen where are you thinking of you and the ink I'm going to use today is the shaded spruce which is matching my green leaf here and that's what I love about stamping up is the inks the cardstock and the pens they all match and you can always guarantee that it's all going to tie in so then you just stamp like that now you don't have to go in and be rough you just go one two three and you can see that it's all inked there now another good tip, which I almost forgot, when you're using the photopolymer stamps, they don't have the rubber, like the rubber backed stamps. And it's always good to have the stamp and pierce mat and put the cardstock there. That gives you a bit of uh, sponge. So when you stamp, you'll get a clear um, stamp or, an, or impression on your card. So you just press that down there thinking of you how beautiful is that love it now I'm going to pop him over the branch and I will use some dimensional now I am run like I'm not running low but I uh, when I get to this stage where I've used all of the dimensionals I cut up the edge pieces and they still well, obviously not that edge uh, but they still uh, work and give you the same outcome so I always just put one at the ends one in the middle so we don't want the middle sagging and you just peel and peel that like that and you just place him on now everyone can see what I'm doing sometimes I get excited and go off the camera so I hope everyone has been safe with all of the rain and water around. How's that? Now let's step him up just a little bit more and I'm going to add a leaf. And with my leaf, peel. So I have used the adhesive sheets on the back so it's already sticky. If you don't have the adhesive sheets, you can use a sponge and some glue and you can just pop down um, some glue maybe if you don't have a adhesive sheet you could use an ice cream container to put the little bit of glue on and you can just sponge it on I've got these sponges excuse the um, that's dirty I've been using it with ink but you could use that with the glue and just tap on the back of your delicate dies and or intricate dies and then just place that over the over the top now I've used the same color as this one which is the granny apple green we can pop the leaf so you just play around until you like where you might like it and then maybe sometimes you might think yeah no don't like that but I am going I just yeah I'm not liking that I think I've used too dark of a green yeah get rid of the leaf now flowers <laughs> I, I do want the flowers on here so I'd like a little bit of uh, pop of color so just a little bit of the glue and this is the multi-purpose glue and everything that I've used today is from the annual catalog we tend to forget the annual catalogue when celebration is on. It's such an exciting time with awesome stamp sets. It's all awesome. <laughs> so I'm just going to I'm pop the little petals just around there. And yes, that's what I do. Put a little bit of glue on these two petals. Oops. Got a little bit excited there. 
Sometimes when there's too much glue, don't worry if you press it and it squishes out. There is actually a special eraser you can purchase. Stampin' Up! I don't believe have it. I got mine from um, Spotlight and it's a special adhesive um, eraser so when it dries and it's completely clear you just get the eraser and you erase it and it gets rid of the stickiness away from your image and I'm just going to balance this off with a smaller flower oops a smaller flower here like that beautiful now you could leave it there it's amazing but I love my bling I don't know about you guys but I love bling so I have these iridescent rhinestones. These are my new ones because I love them so much. I'm just looking for where I put them. Here we are. So I've already got an open packet. These rhinestones and the brushed brass butterflies are my next favorite. So I've just finished off a packet and I've got another one there. So you could even use the butterflies if you wanted to. But today I'm using the rhinestones. Okay. So I've got some exciting blog posts coming up as well this week with some cards that I have made last week. Because what do you do when you're flooded and you can't do anything? <laughs> yes, you make cards. So I'm just going to pop one there. I know that's very random, isn't it? And I'm just getting my take your pick tool. And with your take your pick tool, what you can do is if you've got this end, you can use it just to push and it slides that way. I'm going to put some in the middle of my flowers that's too big here. I'm gonna use one of the small ones to go in here and I might and just pop another one in in between here there there you go now I haven't finished yet well, I finished the outside this one is all done and complete and I'm really happy with that today. It's come up beautiful. But the inside of the card, when you're using a dark card, it's sometimes hard to find a color to write with. So I've cut down a 14.9 centimeter cardstock by 10 centimeters just to go on the inside. Yeah, like that. Which is beautiful and then with the die cut that I've just cut today I'm going to pop in it'd be nice to see a little bird there wouldn't it should I should I do a die cut and show you again the big emboss machine <laughs> and put a bird bird on the inside I think that would be cool all right so let's I'm just gonna run some tape yeah, I'm only running on certain little points. I'm not going to um, get it all. I wish I had have um, done the adhesive sheet. It would have been so much easier. We saw how easy it was just to peel it off, stick it on. <laughs> no fiddling. And that's what I like. I like easy, easy cards. Nothing that's too fiddly. Okay, so now that I've got the sticky on there, I probably shouldn't have put the sticky on that, those leaves. They're not really folding in to the way that I like it, but anyway. Put it on the edge. It's beautiful. It's not sticky, so that's okay. So you could leave it like that, but I'm going to, I'm just going to cut out a bird from that die set. Where did I put him? Over here, I put them all away. I'm too efficient. <laughs> I 
Okay. So we could do flowers again. You could do a mushroom if I didn't cut that one out. I can't wait to see the cards, so I'm gonna sit the bird in here. Oh, I can see it already, it's so good. Okay, what colour? What colour guys should I do the bird? Let me know. Quick! <laughs> Alright, let's choose a colour. We could do a multi multi-coloured bird. We could here we go. What we can do is where's my trimmer? Is he under everything? I've put him away really well. Trimmer's gone walk about. Where did I put him? Over here. <laughs> Where I never put the trimmer. <laughs> On the other side of the table. So I'm just going to cut him down. So the size of the bird. Seafoam green. Brown. To go with the back. Yeah. Well how about if I do both? Let's do both. I'm going to show you how we can do both colours. All right, so I'm just having a look at this bird just to see the size of the cardstock that I need to cut down. Because you don't have to use all of your cardstock there. You can just line up what you need and just cut out that square, just like that. All right, so we're going to do soft suede and soft sea foam. Okay. Are you ready for this girls? This is just going to be another technique. So you turn your ink pads. You turn your ink pads. <laughs> They're reasonably new. So when they are new, they can be a little bit tough and they fold back in. So the more you use them, obviously it gets easier. Now, you're going to need your blending brushes. These blending brushes are found in the annual catalog as well. And as you can see, I've only used the, the one brush. Now how I get away with that is I use my chamois here and I clean him off there and then I rub that onto my paper just to make sure that there's no color being transferred over. So I'm going to use the lighter color first. Now you can do it in any direction that you like, but I like doing the circles. And when you're going on to blend on the cardstock, don't go straight on the cardstock because you'll get hard lines. So I'll just show you. Um, so obviously, you know, I've got to get the ink build up and that's probably the, um, downfall of using the one brush is that you've got to build your color up so that way um, you can get your desired um, blend that you're looking for but if I if I had the money and I could buy the 40 brushes I needed to have with the 40 colors of this ink, ink things I, I could do that but um, at the moment that's not a possibility so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just randomly put this soft sea foam so did you see how I started onto the grid paper and then onto my paper so that way you can get that really nice color so I'm going to have the soft fit sea foam on the belly of my bird and I'm going to have the uh, soft suede at the top so once I'm happy with that color so can you see the blending there happening on that card beautiful now fold him over now I'm just going to make sure that there's going to be no excess now 
my chamois is well loved and he's probably needing just a little bit more water so I can wash that off but I just uh, want to make sure that there's going to be no no color coming off onto my brown which there's not so over the ink pad well this one's a lot stronger see how that works straight away and then you just go across and over and just blends into where you want that color and that's all I need so again just rub it on the chamois I bought myself a brand new chamois I just don't want to open it because it's still so nice it's um where is he I don't even know he's over here <laughs> look at how nice my brand new chamois is <laughs> compared to the one I've got so good <laughs> oh, but I will I'll I'll have to Um, dirty that one so yes it's just a shame that all new things need well they all need to be used so I'll after um, the video I'll go and I'll wash that so what I do is I go run run it underneath the tap water and I don't use any soap or anything I just run it and then I use a soft microfiber cloth to to dry it off and then I just hang it you know stand it up in my little uh, cup so that way it will dry and I won't use it until it's dry again so that's our card now I'm going to position the bird so again I'm going to get my um, my emboss machine this is the large one oh, talking about embossing machines do you know what's happening this month we have a sale on our mini emboss machine so the one I'm using is the big one and the mini one is 20% off at the moment. It's an awesome sale. Never have I seen a embossed machine on sale. So the, the mini one is this guy here. And he normally retails for $104. So 20% off. So 10% take that's $10.40. Is that $20.80? So that goes down to roughly $80. $80 so it could be around the $77 to $80 mark for that guy and if that's not enough with the chosen bundles you can um, get percentages off too so I'll put that as a link in this video when I'm finished so that way you can see that sale if you're interested and I'll also have other links to my blog so that way you can check out my cards that I've created and you can check out the new blogs that are going to be coming this week so that's very exciting and um, I'll show you the cards that I'm going to be blogging about once I'm finished here so you don't have to worry that clicking was just the bird cutting out of the paper that we've just created so let's have a look hopefully he's not too green <laughs> okay let's put him here maybe I should have put him up a little bit so if I just pick him up out of the die see I should have done the um, I keep forgetting about the self-adhesive paper <laughs> so I'm going just to grab my brush again uh, with the um, what did I do with it that's the green we don't want the green Janelle I've put him down see I'm <laughs> I get too excited and I put things everywhere and then I can't find them. Um, oh wow. What did I do with it? <laughs> Have a laugh with me. Oh my goodness. Baby brain. Found him. <laughs> he wasn't too far away. <sighs> oh dear. Okay, so let's just... um. I just want his head to be a little bit darker with the brown and his tail so I'm going to I mean you could do that as well can you see what's happening here when I'm going over my die cut with the with where I want the brown to be It's also leaving an impression so if you wanted to do some really nice um, blending 
and have shapes on your card, cardstock, like bird shapes, you can create your own DSP. There we are. That's better. I like that. How gorgeous. Let's put this, put my ink to the side. And my card is here. Oh, ladies, I think you chose really well with those colors. Look at that. Beautiful. Now, I'll just show you quickly here, too, of what I meant with the sponging of um, with the glue on. So I have a sheet, and it, it's called an adhesive sheet. It's over in my cabinet, so I can't really go grab it. But you just put a little bit of glue down and you dab it with your sponge to put it there and then you can just sponge it all over like that and then that will then become sticky and then you can just pop him down like so done see just don't put anything there otherwise it'll all stick there you are so that's our card all finished a thinking of you card how beautiful is that yeah, so all of the links and I will also do up a tutorial for this card as well as this was just out of my head <laughs> pretty much 10 minutes before I went live because um, I really wanted to play with this this die so yeah that's wonderful perfect all right the cards I'm going to be blogging about this week is going to be showcasing the some more annual catalog stamps isn't it gorgeous I love it anyway thank you for the heart <laughs> send those hearts coming <laughs> I need them <laughs> uh, so on page 16 and 17 are the stamp sets that I'm going to be um, blogging about and it's called jar of flowers which is this guy here and it's using our in color um, cinnamon cider and also those butterflies I told you I've got I love these butterflies they're gorgeous and this is using these sunflowers here and I've also used now where did I get I don't really know where I got those from I've die cutted them from somewhere and um, so I've put those in in the jar and I've just cut freehand my little tag there the ribbon is using the Just Jade ribbon and it's uh, part of the in colors for 2020 to 2022. And that'll be uh, discontinuing at the end of April when our new annual catalog starts in May. So if you would like a new catalog um, mailed out to you, let me know and I'll be able to sort that out. And this guy, is using the sunflower and also the coordinating sunflower dies on 166 and using the gold paper and the um, the leaves here they're all being cut out using the dies and also know that you are loved beautiful sentiment so I, I cased the um, card that I received in the swap I had the window sheets and I was using the window sheets for shaker cards. I used the shaker card for um, nuts and bolts for the Valentine's Day. So that's on my blog. So check that out on the link that I'm going to put in after the video. So that's the sunflower die. So these are the two blogs that I'm going to be um, doing this week. And also the blog with the tutorial for this guy. So thank you for joining me today and thank you for watching. I really do hope um, that you have a great weekend and that you're all safe and sound and everything is now drying out. So thank you for joining me and um, we'll catch you next week, next Saturday at 2pm. Thanks guys.